Hey guys, my name is Octoman and this is part 7 of my Diablo style RPG game series. In this part we will take care of to run with our character while we are holding down the shift key. So uh, you can use any other key if you like to, but usually the shift key is a running key. So that's what we're gonna create right now. So let's get started. So what we have so far is actually those through states in our uh, little animated window for our player uh, which is actually doing the one-handed attack from any state we're gonna go with if it's attacking is false we go back to idle state and of course when walking is true we're gonna go to the one-handed walk uh, female in this case and back same thing but if it is walking is going to be false so what we need to implement the running is at first of course an animation i already found one in my window in here i'm gonna type in something about run i believe it's combat run or something like that combat run and that is this one the uncombat so unhanded combat in this case uh, run female. So I have this animation. If you have any other animation, of course, feel free, free to implement this one. Also, make sure it's set it up correctly so it is actually uh, loopable and all the other things you already know, hopefully. So, what do we need? Is at first we need some more states. Currently, we just have is walking and is attacking, but we need to introduce more or implement two more booleans. So uh, select on parameters plus bool. And what we create is a bool called is running. And we're gonna create another one, another bool for is idling. So there's a difference between just setting this one between running and um, yeah, idling is that idling sometimes can be picky. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this transition to if is idling is going to be true, then we go back to idle from walking. We're gonna do the same from the run one. So we're gonna make a tra transition by right click on this to idle. And in here we're gonna say as well, we'll press on plus and the condition is if is idling uh, true, then we want to go back from running to idling. When we are walking and we're gonna hold down our shift key, we want to be able to go from walking directly to running as well. So we say make a transition to run and say if is running is going to be true. So if is running true, we're gonna go from walk to run. Same for idle. Uh, we're gonna go from idle to run as well with if uh, walking, well no, if running or is running is going to be true, we go to run. And of course we need to go back from running to walking as well. Make an, a transition to this one, select it and say the condition in this case if is walking is going to be true. Okay, and that's everything we need to set up in here. And now basically we're gonna be able to set everything to um, code or by code. So, for example, we can also go in there any time and test if the state machine is working. So, when we are running, we're gonna be able to go to running, to the running animation. But as you have seen, it st only stops when idling um, is ended. So, what we need to do is we need to deactivate has ended and uh, has exit time. Same for the run animation, we want to disable has exit time. Same to the other side, from run to walk and walk to run, we disable has exit time. And the same for the other ones, back and forth if there isn't already. We make sure that we have all of those transitions don't have any exit time. The only thing has exit time is basically our attack. So uh, this has an exit time before it is able to go back to idle. Okay, so... Once this one is set it up, we can actually test this one out once again. So basically we're gonna be able to is attacking, we can attack this. When we are in is running, we can instantly go to running. When we disable this and say is idling, we're gonna go back directly to idle. And if we are walking, of course we go to walking. Well, when we're gonna be able to select this in anyhow. Well, currently we are not.
I believe that uh, the animator which is currently blocking us from setting is working to be true in our script. So let's open our click to move script where everything is already set it up. And as you can see, this anim is working to bull. It's automatically setting this one to disabled. So we were not able to enable this one because of the bull, which is preventing um, us to set the walking to be true. Okay, so what we want to do at first, we want to disable this part in here, which is currently sitting in our update function at the very end where we're gonna set walking to whatever walking currently is. Instead we're gonna create a little if statement uh, or actually two if statement, uh, statements which are checking for us if we are walking, if we are not, if we are idling, if we are running and so on and so forth. So let's start with that. At first we want to make the input. So input dot get key. So while using get key, um, we can hold down that specific key, whatever key we want. While we are holding this key down, everything is performed in that if statement. So what we want to have is, of course, the key code. In this case, I'm going to use left shift. You can also use right shift at the same time or any other keys you prefer or you like to have running on. And while we are holding down now the key, the left shift key in my case, um, we're gonna set the speed to our running speed. So nef mesh agent dot speed is going to be equal to, and I will double this one for me, it's going to be 7.5f. Um, you need to test how fast the nef mesh agent truly needs to move around. So if you have different characters or your animations have different speeds and sizes, make sure it's looking good while you are running around. So you need to test what the current speed or the correct speed for your running animation is. Okay, so um, in my case, uh, well, I don't do that uh, 7.5 but 7. Okay, the next one is I want to set all the animation bools uh, to whatever they need to be. So anim dot set bool, and now our new bools are come in place. The first one is we're gonna set is running is going to be um, of course true since we are faster now. I'll make a comma in between. So we set this bool to be true. The other possibility would be we're gonna set this one to whatever walking is, since at the same time we are walking. Okay, so the same thing happens to is walking, but vice versa. So anim dot set bool open close parentheses and in quotes we're gonna say is walking is whoops, make sure you have no typos. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you can see stuff better. Like this. Um, so make sure you don't have any typos. Make sure all your booleans you're gonna try to get in here are still written the same. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is going to be false. The other way would be we would just take the negative to whatever walking currently is. In this case, we would just use an exclamation mark in front of walking. That would work as the same. I want to do that with false, so we're gonna see a difference in here. And we are making sure that this is absolutely false, no matter what, and we are not confusing ourselves at that point. Okay, so else we're gonna do something different. So in this case, when we are not holding down the shift key, we want to reset everything back to normal. So I'm gonna copy all those three lines and make this one in here. And what we have is my main speed of my character as 3.5 F as we set this one automatic on the first time in the navigation mesh or in the navigation agent from this character. We want to set is running to be false since we don't want to run anymore. And in this case, we're gonna set is walking to be whatever walking is. That's important, I believe. Well, actually, it's just true. But, well, while this is not true, we're gonna set everything back to whatever it has to be. Okay, so in the la next if statement, it's going to check if we are idling or not. And according to this, we're gonna put our idle animation on or off. So if we are not walking, we want to make sure that we are idling. So we say anim dot setbool is idling 
I hope it's written correctly. Well, yes, it looks okay. Is idling is going to be equal to true. And of course, else, so if we are not uh, walking, um, we want to set uh, the is idling to be false. Since we are moving, we are walking, we want to play the correct animation at that point. So, anim dot set bool, open close parentheses, and in quotes we say, is idling, comma, uh, false. And that should be it to make our character run. Make sure you disable this one, otherwise you might have some trouble in here. Um, and that's, well, yeah, basically everything we need. We could also do that a bit easier, so we don't have an L if L and an else statement. We could basically just set is idling to whatever walking is not, so just vice versa. But to keep it simple and understandable, I just wanted to make sure that if we are not walking, which is our bool, which is protecting all of that, we're gonna set this one to true, and otherwise we are not. So let's test this one out. Don't forget to save your script. And of course, uh, save your scene since you have made the changes directly in the animator. And let's press play. Now we should be able to go to any position still. And the walking is still, well, yeah, walking. Also, you can see it is going back and forth in between walking and idling animation and setting up correctly, which is great. And what we now want to test is if when we are holding shift now and pressing somewhere, we are able to run. And that's what we wanted to do. Also, when we are running and leaving the button alone, we want to make sure that we are going back to walking and vice versa. So we could go fast and slow to whenever we want while holding down now the shift key. And you can also see that in the states, at that point, you can only see the states when you have the player selected. Make sure you do so, otherwise you're not able to see those. And that's it for that particular part. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thumbs this video up if you like it and feel free to become my patron or donate by using PayPal to support me and my channel in the future. All links will be below in the description. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.